I'm very excited to put some work. Well, I've done like commission work, but I've never sold like an actual piece. And because mo most of the time I do my pieces for me. We're focusing on how to bring your artistic ability to a kind of job sense so that I'm not just drawing for the heck of it. I'm drawing to progress and what I'd like to go out in the world and do. I'm an expressive artist, so whatever I'm going through in my life, I kind of try to tailor that to my piece and so that it becomes more authentic and genuine. I kind of want to go with a sense of beauty, but at the same time, like a kind of shock factor, I guess. I have a piece that's called Habit Control. I use like a vortex type of thing because I feel like habits, they kind of swallow you. You can get kind of lost in them, whether good, bad, or otherwise, they do innately become you and whoever you are. And so you have to replace bad habits with good habits. And when I found that out, I felt like it was sort of a superpower. If a person with effective habits can kind of live the most successful life, in my opinion. Lately, I've been kind of getting inspiration from birds and nature, but I'm kind of going away from that, trying to go towards more geometric or playing with shapes and weight. I've taken so many classes that I never thought I would love and I fell in love with them and those minor skills from those classes carried over into what I feel like is gonna be my career. After I sold my piece, this semester I actually got a scholarship. So I'm really happy I got that because now I can focus not as much on the financial part of school, but more on how I can take my education and push it to the next level. I actually have started doing poetry and like attaching it to my piece. And it's because I think that as an artist, as I grew older, and it started to be more about the relationship between me and the person looking at the art. Because I want the buyer or whoever's looking at my piece to fully understand how I felt in a situation and maybe relate. The last two sentences of the poem about the habit control, it says, now I found the master key was to master me. But first, I must master these in habits that inhabit me. I know they buy it, but then I'm like, do they really like it that much? Would they really want it in their house? It's kind of scary, but it's also, it's very humbling. I'm very happy that they liked it so much they'd buy it. 